Enter webmail settings. If you're using a webmail service, invoices and credit notes can be emailed from Sage50 accounts once webmail settings have been configured and applied to the invoice layout. Before emailing invoices to your customers, check each customer record has a valid email address entered. To do this, from the Customers module, select a customer record and click Edit. Enter any email address details here. Up to six email addresses can be entered for each customer. To confirm you communicate with this customer by email, select this checkbox. To save the changes, click Save. Repeat the process for any other customer records required. Once you're done, to close the customer record, click Close. From the Invoices and Credits module, any invoices for customers you've chosen to communicate with by email will show email in the column Email or Print. This makes it easy to identify which records should be printed and which emailed. Let's look at how to enter webmail settings. To use a webmail service to send emails from Sage50 accounts, SMTP settings must be entered for the webmail provider and email settings applied to the invoice layout. To do this, from the settings menu, select email defaults. From the drop down, change the email program to webmail. Next, from the drop down list, select your email provider. If it's not listed, select other. In the sender details section, enter the email address you'll use to send emails from and a display name if required. For example, your company name. In the server details section, add the server name and port number for your webmail provider. If a secure SSL connection is required, select the checkbox. In the login details section, if the webmail account being used to email will always be open, select the option for use logged on user details. Alternatively, in the username and password boxes, enter the login details for the webmail account. You're now ready to apply email settings to your invoice layout. To do this, click the Invoice tab. In the Email field section, to select a customer email address field, click the To button. Select the required email field and click OK. Repeat this process for the CC button if required. Alternatively, an email address can be entered manually. For example, to send a copy of the email to yourself. To select the format for the email subject, click Subject, then select from the options given. In the Attachment Settings section, to send the invoice as an attachment, leave this box unchecked. Now, from the Attachment Format drop-down, select the required format. PDF is the most secure. Next, from the Attachment File Name drop-down, select the required format. For example, you can include the invoice number, company name and invoice date. PDF attachments can be password protected if required. To do this, from the drop-down, select Yes from Customer Record. To add a password for a customer account, from the Customer Record, select the Defaults tab. Click in Reporting Password, then type a password. Once you're happy with the email settings entered, they can be applied to the invoice layouts required. To do this, click Apply. To apply email settings to the invoice layouts required, expand the invoice folder, then at the left of each layout required, select the checkbox. Once you're happy with the layout selected, click OK. 
To close the email defaults window, click OK again. You're now ready to start emailing invoices and credit notes to your customers.